My name is Jay Huang. I'm from Guangzhou, China. I'm from Nigeria. I'm from Seoul, South Korea. I'm from Nepal. I'm from Guadalajara, Mexico. I guess the one thing that I promote about Chinese culture the most is the food. Like Chinese people eat very weird stuff. We eat like pig intestines, like pig liver and pig ears. In the part of the country that I come from, um, we have the highest twin birth rates in the world. But we do cook it in a way that we make it taste way more better than it looks. If you know Nepalese people, if you really do, you should know about the Gurkhas because um, that is our sign of our bravery and my dad was part of the Gurkha, so I'm really, really proud of that. Even though I traveled a lot through my childhood, I always thought South Korea is my home. I'm proud of our K-pop and Korean food. When I was coming here, uh, it was my first time to the U.S. for the college. So I was pretty nervous, like, um, could I make friends? Could I um, get familiar with the environment? Like, totally new environment here. I knew it was like a developed country, so to me, that was always what Singapore was like. Cities and like, a lot of, you know, very bustling. The first feeling of mine is like, I'm completely new and I'm a little scared about the place. So when I looked down from the airplane, my brother was like, John, I'll look outside. It's literally all farms. And I was like, oh, what? Like, where am I going? Like, this is not what I'd expected. I can see how different it is at the beginning for people to feel overwhelmed by the cultural difference. Do you actually eat dogs? And I'm like, no. Some people do, but not really me. It's not my thing. I have a golden retriever at my home. There's a lot of misunderstandings about Mexico. Orange chicken is definitely 100% not Chinese food. Uh, so I never ate it in China. Mexico is a very, very diverse country. Uh, even from people to our landscape, our ecosystems, everything is very diverse. We have parts of the country that are a desert and on the other side, side of the country completely we have jungles so it's not like we have people going around in donkeys. I've been asked that before. When I first came here my English was so horrible so I can barely communicate with other people. There were certain jokes like terms or like you know slangs that Americans have and that they have learned over the years being here but that I did not know of so that was kind of like difficult just being in the conversation sometimes because it was like oh I do not know what you're talking about so I just I just yeah kind of went behind the shell. When you came to a new environment like you have to get used to all these things um, at the same time of like you know taking care of your academic and like social life and it's definitely something like you need um, you know, your support from family. I guess I miss my parents a lot because I, I don't get to see them like once a year like that, that was new because when I was in boarding school, they visited me like almost every month. So that was one thing I had to get used to. I think it's very important that somebody here to support you, to get you through the way and to tell you it's not that hard as long as you can keep going. Why choose Villanova? The best college basketball team in the country. I never enjoyed basketball, but after watching Villanova playing against other great schools. There's a reason why they say our, our home court is one of the most difficult places to play at. And I went crazy when, our, when we won the championships. To me, Villanova is a lot about community, about actively engaging in a community and being there for each person in your community. You don't need to be the most social person to make friends. Everyone is so nice here. Like my friends are my biggest support here and um, having them here, it's like having a second family, um, like a home away from home. A lot of time what people don't factor in when they're coming to college is the happiness factor. And you can't really measure that from college rankings and a lot of things. But I think Villanova has a high happiness ranking. Last week I actually went on West Campus and I find this like bunch of cherry blossom trees behind Gary Hall and I thought it was just so beautiful. Now if I see after two years, it's like not growing like academically. I see myself as a well-grown human being because of the new things. I'm independent over here, then I was like completely dependent on my parents. The College of Engineering is one of the best in the US and I'm so proud of it. I love it and so that's why I'm here. Opportunities that like this don't come that often and when they do they might only appear for a while so seize the opportunity if you don't like it there's always you can always take a step back and 
if you do like it, there's a lot of things you can do up following up that decision to come to college. Think about the things I do have here, come like the experience I couldn't ever experience back home. To, to it's like a compromise. I need to sacrifice something to get some other thing. I was hesitant at first about whether I should leave my country or not for college, and I gotta say I was. I'm really glad I made this step and decided to go for it. For right now, I'm really enjoying my experience and I just don't know how it could be outside. Like I'm very passionate about to make our international student organizations stronger and could help more international students and could help like within our like community but also help us to reach out to to the big community of Wellanoa. Well, I had to get my way out there. Like, yes, there are things that you can't relate to, but you can always learn. It just takes time. And they're also trying to learn. Like, unless and until you bring your culture forward, nobody, um, I guess you cannot expect others to be like asking you, unless you put it out there, hey, I'm from this place and this is cool about me. Um. I am a yeah, just start over here. Okay. Sorry, you're fine. You're... <laughs> it's okay. I'm so nervous. We've Ooh. been there. Oh, okay. Uh, no, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs>